The Georgia Public Safety Training Center is building two new fire training facilities. 41 NBC's Alexa Rodriguez has more on the state's only public fire protection lab that's coming to Forsyth. We're going to teach people how to suppress those fires before they happen. In his own words, the only thing holding Chief David Wall back is his imagination. We're training basic firefighters, a recruit firefighter school. They're used to just seeing this on the screen, on a PowerPoint, and in a book. Now we'll be able to walk right out of the classroom, take, take them to put their hands on. The fire protection lab is a classroom equipped with sprinklers, fire alarms, hood systems you'd see in restaurants, and risers you'd find in hotels. When I was in training, we didn't have things like that. Making bid firefighter Carell Rembert remembers the majority of the calls during his first year were to historic buildings that had sprinkler systems. Actually, um, seeing how we wedge them and, and actually disarming those alarms was something, you know, it wasn't foreign to me because we went through it in training, but, you know, I didn't actually put my hands on it. The new additions to GPSTC don't stop there. A commercial industrial training simulator will help experienced firefighters with decision making. They'll have to look at a burning building and pick which rooms to enter first. First thing and foremost is life safety. We always want to make sure that, you know, the building is evacuated. But prevention is key. Once a fire starts, it's, it's an indication that our prevention efforts have failed. Since the equipment in the new lab is used to prevent fires, Chief Wall hopes his firefighters will be more prepared to respond to calls. In Forsyth, Alexa Rodriguez, 41 NBC News. Chief Wall estimates both projects cost more than half a million dollars. That's paid for with bonds from the state. He hopes to have them open by September.